Hi, my name is Tracy Takahama Espinosa. Welcome to Digital Learning Promises and Possibilities for the Science of Learning in a Post-Pandemic Educational Landscape. This will be a three-part series in which we're going to talk about um, ideas from a macro to a meso to a, a micro vision of changes that have been catalyzed by COVID. The first part will look at changes in assessment and feedback, looking at curriculum design, as well as how time and space have shifted in education now. And finally, looking at this new student profile and what does this mean for the future of higher education specifically, but also general implications for lifelong learning. In part two, we'll be looking at a medium or meso level structure uh, that considers instructional design and the use and implementation of distinct tools for teaching in a digital age, which are often choices made by IT departments or uh, by administrators, but which directly affect uh, teachers' abilities to leverage the possibilities of technology in their classrooms. And finally, at part three, we're gonna look at this micro level of student-teacher interactions. What types of pedagogical practices have been shown to work equally well, for example, online as in face-to-face, -face, and how can teachers learn to leverage that? And what does this mean for teacher training? How will changes be made to the ways that teachers uh, get ongoing professional development, continual professional development throughout their careers? So I'm really looking forward to seeing you. Take care. If you have any questions beforehand, don't hesitate to write. Thanks.